Oh my god, just wait till you see what's inside. Whew. Guys, it's really good. If someone ever asked me to name someone famous from the Philippines, the first person that immediately comes to my mind are not as amazing as they are people like Regine Velasquez, Lea Salonga, or Manny Pacquiao. No, the first person that immediately comes to my mind is uh, this guy over here. In fact, the people that I just mentioned do not even come close to the level of fame that this guy has. For real. Hi, I'm Steve from the Fat Life Project and unless you've been living under a rock, you would know that this guy's name is Jollibee and he's the face of the largest fast food chain in the Philippines. But perhaps what you may not know is that there are over 1500 Jollibee stores across the world in places such as Singapore, Hong Kong, Vietnam and even the US and the UK. And in fact, if you live in Sydney like I do, they have even announced plans of setting up shop in our city. As you would have it, I'm currently in the beautiful city of Manila in the Philippines. And so we are going to go check out Jollibee Philippines. Yes, I said we because we're in this together, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to order all the best sellers and bring them back here and try them out. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, well then, what are you waiting for, my friend? Come on, let's go check out Jollibee Philippines. Uh, and I have uh, for it. Oh, what about the fries, sir? Oh, no fries. It's okay. Or regular. Uh, regular. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you for. <sighs> okay, so I'm back. Just gonna take off my bag. I am. Um, ordered so much food that the cashier at Jollibee was like ah oh, do you uh, um, just want the, the one drink thinking innocently thinking that I was ordering perhaps for a whole group of friends or family but no no my friend it's just me I'm eating all this food this is my haul Spent about 733 pesos, which works out to be 13 US dollars. So yeah, let me show you everything I got. We've got the chicken sandwich, a burger steak with beefy sauce, which is the jolly spaghetti. Jolly spaghetti, so we're gonna look into that in a bit. And the main act, like I thought, well, in my opinion, the main act, which has been all over my Instagram feed when they open up in the US, is the chicken joy, the fried chicken. I also have their famous yum burger, some fries. Let's see them. I've got a few pies here, and we're gonna try those out as well. Buko pie. Chicken a la king, uh, tuna, and we've also got something that is very Filipino, um, some ketchup, it's a sweet tomato sauce. I'm gonna try this out as well. Righto, so we are gonna start with the crunchy, juicy chicken sandwich. I already like the sounds of that. Look at that. It's basically just two buns, mayo and a huge chunk of fried chicken in the middle yeah so let's give it a go the chicken is so good i'm sorry i'm showing you what i bit into but it's so tender it's a lot of meat outer layers super crunchy guys it's really good next up we've got their famous a yum burger Looks a bit like that. I think it's just like a, a snack. Yeah, let's give this a go. It's pretty good. I just wish there was more meat though. I'm not sure how much this is, but it might be the burger that's like under their uh, economical meals, which would explain the serving size, I guess. Like I said, it's not bad. The patty's pretty good. The bread's really good. The sauce is also good. It's just, I wish there was more meat, that's all. 
So next up, we've got this sweet syrup, which means delicious in Tagalog, jolly spaghetti. It looks a little bit like uh, this. It is a spaghetti topped off with Jollibee's signature sweet style sauce, loaded with chunky slices of savory ham, ground meat, and hot dog. It's very interesting. So let's let's give it a go. I have to confess that like I've been to Jollibee before, but I've never ordered this because I just said I don't. Uh, it didn't sound like something that I would actually enjoy. So yeah, I've mixed up the spaghetti and the sauce. Why am I holding it like this? And we are going to give Jolly Spaghetti a go. Let's try it. The sauce is like a little bit spicy almost. I mean, it's very interesting. It's got like a sweet spicy sauce, a spaghetti spaghetti, some meat and some hot dog. And some cheese so you've got all the elements which just sounds like such a weird combination um and honestly when i had my first bite i wasn't quite so sure i wasn't very sure if i was gonna like it but now that i've had another bite it's kind of like a little bit addictive it's got this strange allure to it you know so i can definitely see myself loving this i don't love it at the moment but i can see myself eating this again next up we've got the Beefy, saucy burger steak. Let me just show you what it looks like. From uh, this angle. See? And I'm also going to do a close-up real quick so you get to see what it looks like. So this is the close-up. And um, their website says that they're a 100% pure beef patty with a hearty serving of flavorful mushroom gravy on steamed rice. Oh, and there's another thing about Filipino fast food restaurants that you should know is that, or well, anywhere really, is that rice is life. <laughs> Literally every single fast food restaurant that you would go to, or any restaurant that you would go to in uh, the Philippines is gonna serve you rice with whatever you're ordering. Case in point, the burger steak. I mean, again, the burger steak um, at Jollibee has never been something that I uh, have naturally reached out to to order, but we're doing this video to try out things outside of my comfort zone, right? So let's give it a go. Yep, I've got a little bite full here with rice. Whew. Okay, this is actually really good. The sauce, the mushroom, the steak, it just all kind of all just comes together and you wouldn't, well, this for me wouldn't, I wouldn't naturally think to pair it with some rice, but it works really well. You know what? I've changed my mind. I, I like the Jolly Bee Burger Steak. I would get it again. I mean, I totally get the appeal. This, this is the one that I can't wait to show you guys. Crispy Licious Chicken Joy. Oh my God. Just wait till you see what's inside. I'm just going to pan over to show what's inside with my other camera. Ta-da! Yeah, so as I was saying before, anything that you order at Jollibee, KFC or Macca's, you're gonna get rice. That's what we've got here. We've got two chicken pieces. We've got a wing and a breast. Smells really good. And also you've got yourself some gravy. Right, so I'm gonna just get the rice with the gravy and the chicken. Now I've got a spoonful of everything uh, together. I've even got a good piece of the chicken skin, which is gonna be delicious, so cheers. It is honestly as good as I remember it. This used to be like one of my favorite meals at Jollibee and it still freaking is. Everything about it is good, I mean the chicken is unbeatable and just when you get it with the gravy and the rice and it all is just kind of working together inside so good you can even have the chicken by itself and if you just search on any of the social media platforms for Jollibee people in the Philippines and beyond like when they opened up in New York recently are raving about the chicken this is really what you must try and I'm telling you now it is worth the hype it's definitely like one of my favorite fast food fried chickens that I've ever had 
Highly recommend though that you have it with the gravy. Just dip it in. Just gives it that little extra oomph. There's one thing you must try at Jollibee. This is it. For some reason, the cashier has given me two tuna pies, which I didn't order. I asked for the dessert pies, but since we've got them, let's give it a go, shall we? And I can't really smell what's in the pie because the crust is so amazing. I'm just gonna open it. Here we go. Oh, it's tuna. Honestly, I've never had this before. Tuna paste is a bit cheesy. It's got a good texture to it, but yeah, it's good. And then next up, we've got the chicken a la king pie. The website says that it is, well, it's a chicken pie. It's basically a stew of chicken, mushroom peas, peppers, in a rich creamy base and contained in the same flaky crust that you have come to expect from the other pies. So let's open it. That's what it looks like inside. I'm not a huge fan of creamy bases, but for you guys, I, I'm gonna give this a go. It tastes like the Campbell soup, you know, the Campbell soup that comes in a can. I'm actually surprised at how good this is. This is one of the best selling desserts at Jollibee. It's called the peach mango pie. I've already bit into it, so you can have a look. That's what it looks like. Honestly, it is so good. In my opinion, way better than the pies at some of the other uh, fast food restaurants, uh, not only in the Philippines, but everywhere everywhere else it is a definite must try right on top of the list of the things that i would get again at jollibee is the chicken joy with rice and gravy there's no question about it but i would also do here's how i rate everything i ate at jollibee so far sitting right on top of the list of the things that i would unquestionably get again is the chicken joy fried chicken with gravy and rice followed by the crispy chicken sandwich the tuna pie and the mango peach pie 1000 percent things that i would be open to trying again is the burger steak the jelly spaghetti and the chicken a la king I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait for Jollibee to open up in Australia. I mean, Jollibee, like, come on, hurry up already. But if you've enjoyed this little Jollibee food adventure and want to see more of me in your feed, I totally recommend clicking on that subscribe button as I upload content like this on a weekly basis. And also don't forget to like and share this video if you found it informative or even entertaining, perhaps. I also upload every Saturday, so be sure to also hit that bell notification when you are subscribing so that you can start your weekends with me. I mean, what? Why wouldn't you want to? And if you got to this point of the video, I want to thank you so much for your support. I recently got monetized and it's all thanks to you. Yep, that means that YouTube now pays me to create more exciting content for you. I seriously cannot wait to show you what else I've got up my content sleeve. Until then, I do hope that you have a fantastic day ahead or that you've already had a good day. As always, I will see you very soon in the next video.